This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion 17-X laptop with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP Pavilion 17-X laptop. Before we start, a couple of things we need to go over. First, we need to identify, correctly identify the laptop model. And for this model, it's right over here. There's a long label on the bottom. And on the very right hand side, it says model 17-X051NR. The HP 17, it's a Pavilion 17, it's a long running product line for HP. So there are several different variations with different procedures and different screens that's required. So make sure that you're working on the 17-X. Okay, next thing is we want to remove the battery before we start. This particular model has a removable ba battery, so we're gonna take advantage of that. Slide the two levers inward and just take the battery out. Next, we flip the laptop back up and we're going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the screwdriver size. We have a smaller PH0 screwdriver. A pair of metal tweezers to remove and screws and manipulate cables. A metal spudger to pry things open and a hobby knife to lift up adhesive tape. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And for this particular model, it does not have any screws, so we can just snap it off. To do this, what I like to do is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side, find the edge and gently lift the edge up and out and listen for snapping sounds. Once you start your snapping sounds, that means the bezel is coming off. And in this way, go around the screen assembly. So some places might be tougher than others, so you may get stuck. So leave that place alone and come back to it a little bit later down the road. So we keep doing this. And there's some adhesive on the bottom, but I think we almost have it. We have a slightly stubborn corner and it comes off. All right, next thing we look at this uh, particular screen assembly. In order to separate the screen from the screen assembly, we need to remove screws at the top and at the bottom where they're held down by metal mounting tabs that are attached to the screen. So we tilt the laptop back a little bit so the screen doesn't fall forward than us and remove the four screws. One and two. Make sure you get a good start on these because they're a little bit tight. Don't want to strip them. So press down a little bit harder at first until you start them. And four. Next, we need to lift up the screen by the mounting tabs and, and gently lay it down on the keyboard. Um, there's enough room so we don't have to undo the video cable. Um, maybe there's some adhesive here. We can undo this little piece of adhesive tape so we have better access to it. And next we want to separate the video cable the connector from the screen itself. It's held down by some adhesive tape. So we want to lift up this adhesive tape. And just lift it up with a hobby knife just enough to grab a corner and work the adhesive tape off with your fingers. So sometimes it takes a little while and sometimes it goes fast. 
and we are almost done. And peel the adhesive tape back, then grab the connector and uh, with your fingers and then slide the connector backward so it's removed. Okay, let's get a close-up. I'm going to reconnect the connector so we know it's properly connected. Let's get a close-up. Okay, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connection should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's take a look at this screen. As of uh, mid-2017, this is a newer type 17.3 inch LED screen. Its resolution is WXGA+, plus, which is 1600 by 900. Um, this particular model may have also have a full HD screen and that would reading the model number will tell you that. So there's not really um, any way you can tell just spoke in the screen. The only way to tell is the part number of the screen. It has a EDP, a 30 pin connector on the bottom left hand. And the part number for this particular screen is B173 RTN02.2. The part number of the screen you will receive may be different, but it should be compatible, have the connector in the right place, and have the right resolution. And this particular screen has a glossy finish. Okay. Uh, you can order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you to send you the right screen. If not, we'll replace it. You also get this toolkit, exact same toolkit that I used in the video for free with the screen. We have a two-year warranty on the screen and free email technical support. And also, we have free priority mail shipping in the United States. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. So to order from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide, guide you to buy the right screen online. Once you do receive the screen, uh, check it, make sure it is correct. Then reconnect the connector like I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, and that's it. You should be ready to go. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.